Hi guys, my name is Benjamin Edu. These are my team, and we are the coffin dancers of Ghana. We are number uno. <laughs> The Ghanaian pallbearers first gained international fame when the BBC did a story on them in 2017 and then during COVID they went extremely viral in a meme on the internet. I was so curious to know more about them and their story so on my last day in Ghana I was finally able to get in touch. Who are these guys? Yes, that, those are my guys. This is uh, Kwadi. Kwadi. Yeah, Kwadi. And then this is Sugar. Sugar, what's up, man? Yeah. Sugar. <laughs> what about this guy? Yes, Ashi. Ashi? Yeah. I don't know. And that is Amufa. Amufa. All over there. What's up, and man? And that is Ashia. Getting yes. ready over there? And then, no, the, the one over there with the sea. How would you describe your job? It's, you know, um, giving a deceased um, a befitting burial. How many different funerals have you attended? More than a thousand. More than a thousand? Yes, because I started way back 2003. How did you start in 2003? Yes, uh, you know, when I was schooling, you know, I needed to pay my school fees and stuff, so I needed to join, um, get into this, and then, you know, at the same time, get paid. Immediately I completed, I decided to, you know, um, do this full time. What was the first moment where you thought to do this? A friend of, uh, you know, one of my guys, my father died, that we had to go and carry the dad, and then I was in the cadets in the school. So, you know, I taught my guys how to match, and then we went, seven of us carried the body, you know, six of us, and then one was in front. So we carried the body, and then we sent the body into the house, from the house to the church, from the church to the house, and back to the cemetery. How did it become into like a very festive, like party atmosphere? Yes, um, around 2004, I decided, you know, I had to add the dance to it. When I added it, and then people began to love what we are doing, and I decided to, you know, always, you know, be consistent in training, in the choreography form and stuff. And then up to date, we are still on it. So people have to request you? Yes, that is, you know, it always comes from the client. Yes. What they want. Yes. What, you, what you want is what we are going to give to you. Mm -hmm. So we do ask whether you want it solemn or you want a bit display. If you want the display, we'll do it for you. Explain to me what the display looks like. Yes, the display uh, looks like, you know, um, in a choreography form. It goes with a song. You know, we have so many songs that you need to choose a good song that will fit the deceased. Yes, assuming the deceased is a female, you have to get uh, the right song for the deceased. And then when the deceased is a male, you know, you know what to choose. So you practice the songs and yes. dances? Yes. How many guys do you work with? For now, 100 guys that I'm working with. 100. Yes, five of them are female, and in 95, are male. So you were the boss of 100 people? Yes. And this is a <laughs> massive business. Yeah. <laughs> Explain to me your, your costume. Yes, um, this is my suit. My shoe and, um, you know, mm -hmm. um, it's the same as what the guys are going to wear. Mm -hmm. And this is my shirt. What does this mean? Yes, um, you know, this is my brand. You can see over there, NO1, Nana Otafrija 1, the number uno. So you get it from here. Anytime you see someone wearing this, it means the person is coming from Nana Otafrija. In 2020, yeah. during COVID, yeah. you went really viral. <laughs> what does it feel like to go viral? I feel great. Very, very, very. I'm very grateful to God because, you know, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect it at all. What's your overall message? What's the goal that you're trying to do with these coffin dancing? Yes, I, I want everybody, you know, every country to adapt to what we are doing. It's a source of employment because unemployment rate is very high. Mm -hmm. So that, you know, people that don't have the qualification to get to where they are, they can even get something into their pocket and, right. uh, you know, right. feed the family. At the same time, cheering people up, making people to know that, you know, there's life after death. Right. And at the same time, we need to celebrate the death rather than mourning. In my country, when people die, it's very sad. Oh. Everybody's crying. So. Why do you think it's so important to make it a happy atmosphere? Yes, um, uh, it's good to celebrate the death. Uh, for me, you know, you know what the person has done. 
you know what the person uh, did for you, what the person impacted in you, assuming whether the person is your mom or your dad. Uh, example, you know, your education, your well-being and stuff. So you know the end part of the person, you need to celebrate the person. The one that we need to mourn is the person who is being, who is coming, who is being born, because you don't know what the person is coming to be, whether the person is coming to be a thief, coming to be the lawyer, or even the person will just, you know, come for a day and then just die. You don't know. So we need to mourn that person. I was very grateful that Benjamin and his crew were able to put on a performance for me in the same spirit as they do during funerals. I couldn't believe my eyes. Yes. Mm. I'm good to go. <laughs> Please get me my, uh, you know, my stick. <laughs> It's easy. Yeah. When there's a dead body inside, yeah. how, how does it feel? Sometimes you feel heavy. Sometimes you don't feel heavy. That has that is your breath so many long times. Yeah. And so we don't feel something. <laughs> how do you feel? I don't. Yeah, it feels so great. You know, it's more like an exercise that we do every weekend. Right. Yes. Uh, you know, in Ghana, uh, we only, you know, our market days are um, Fridays and Saturdays. Right. Yeah, for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is the normal one. Right. What are most of the comments and the reaction and feedback that you get from other people around the world? Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are amazed. People think, you know, we have something doing, you know, we have some, you know, kind of juju that we use. We have some, some kind of, you know, alcohol that we do before carrying the coffin. But no, we believe in, you know, the Almighty God. We do pray before we carry the coffin, so that is our main. And you know, 18 years in this business, we've never felt a coffin before. Yes, 18 years in this business, we've never. My crew, you know, we are consistent in training. Benjamin, what is one message you want to say to the world? Anyone that finds this video, you know, to be passionate about whatever he or she is doing in this world, because you don't know who will recognize you somewhere one day. So you need to, you know, be passionate about whatever you are doing in life. Well, it's the end of my Ghana trip, and that was a, a, a really great story to cover. It's amazing how these guys like celebrate death. Um, in the Western world, we mourn death and we're sad, but these guys have a completely opposite point of view, and it's, it's amazing to see. And uh, it's a great wrap to the trip in Ghana. I really enjoyed this experience. What a great country, so many amazing people, so many great stories to be told, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So, whoa, you almost got my camera. Oh, shit. what's going on? Oh my god. Okay, so uh, have a great day. <laughs> Cheers from, from Accra. <laughs> what's your experience like working with Benjamin? Uh, if you work with him, you feel happy because he pays us good and he do us fine. And that's, that's why we like to work with him. Mm -hmm. And so we, we, we like the job very well and we enjoy it very much. What's the stick for? Yeah, that's the guy, you know, who does the coffins and stuff. Oh, oh, we, this and stuff. is where they make the yeah, coffin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a friend of mine, okay. my good friend. That's why I keep my coffin here. Mm -hmm. If you can see, we made, you know, track coffin. That's a um, beer bottle coffin. <laughs> you know. What? So, yes, those, those are all different coffins? coffins? Yes, 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 yes. The meaning of the beer coffin, if the person loves drinking beer, yeah, yeah, beer you have to bury it with a, a, beer, a beer coffin. coffin. If that person loves drinking water, yes. we make um, a coffin if, that if is... If the person is a driver, a truck driver, make, you know, yeah, that's the main. they do... Interesting. So, yeah. so, so right here, they're making the coffins? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He right. makes the coffin, you know, when you are ready, you have your money, you pay, and then... He does it for you. He's making a coffin, this guy? Yeah. And I'm a woofer, share me, man. Which, which one are you making? The beer bottle or? I'm the one, I'm the one I make, oh. No, 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 this one. No, 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 no. Which one is this one? Uh, this one is cabinet. A cabinet? For, 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 for store, shop. Okay. Yes, okay, and how did you get into this business? Say more, yes, I'm full. It's only God gave me that idea to do it. Okay. So when he gave me a job, I'll think of it then, I'll, Finished. Right. So in 18. So what's happening now? Yeah, I'm dressing up, you know, to just, um, you know, have fun, perform, 
mm. for you guys to be, you know, know the king of the dead. Mm. Now I'm the king of the dead for 2020. <laughs> You're all over the internet. <laughs> yes, you know, when you talk of 2020, you know, we are there, mm, nothing else. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm enjoying myself, but you know, we are staying safe. We are just praying. Other than that, you know, we'll follow. It doesn't matter whether you are uh, the king of the dead or you will always make people happy, cheer people happy, you know, by a way of dancing with them, you know. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and ring that little bell so you can get notified on all my upcoming videos as I take you to every single country in the world.